So we're going to read a couple of the poems in the book Wild Symphony by Dan Brown, illustrated by Susan Bettori. Wondrous Whale The biggest creature of them all Isn't hairy, mean, or tall He's sleek and kind of soft and blue Long and smooth and gentle, too A hundred feet from mouth to tail Yes, you guessed it, the big blue whale A whale can do a wondrous thing Underwater, he can sing It's how he talks to other whales And shares with them his whaley tales His voice can echo through the sea Two hundred miles, and sometimes three so if you ever take a swim and dare to stick your head way in, you just might hear a distant song, a whale who hopes you'll sing along. You, if you listen carefully to nature, you'll hear conversations all around you. I was in the jungle once and heard some gruffly grunty grunts. I crept in closer to explore and saw a pack of frightful boar. Their snarly, sniffly snouts were scary, curving tusks, all sharp and hairy. But then I saw, to my surprise, the boar were chasing butterflies. They spun, they twirled, and danced about, having fun without a doubt. Their face looked so fierce and mean, but I guess some things aren't what they seem. Sometimes nice things come in not-so-pretty packages. This is Woodbird Welcome. As the sunrise starts to glow, woodland birds will say hello, honking, hooting, chirping, peeping, squawking, tweeting, cooing, cheeping. It's so noisy, all those birds, a jumbled rush of birdly words. But if you pause for not so long, you'll hear each bird's own special song. Even when life seems messy, there's beauty to, found, to be found everywhere. In the woods you stop and shriek, there's something sticky on your cheek, a spider's web you almost broke, black, oh yuck, you gasp and choke, but as you start to run away, there's something there that makes you stay, diamonds somehow caught in flight, hanging in the bright moonlight, a shining net of silver gray, who thought you'd see a web that way, Not a masterpiece some spider spun, now aren't you glad you didn't run?